I've seen it reported that between 40 and 70 percent of new gardeners quit in the first year. Hi, I'm Gardener Scott, a master gardener who discusses everything gardening so that you can become a better gardener. Join me today as I discuss some of the reasons why new gardeners quit and help you to stick with it so you have a lifetime of wonderful gardening experiences. Right up front, it's important to acknowledge that just about every gardener has had some time when they wanted to quit. It's part of the game. It can be quite overwhelming. The key is to persevere, to push through it, to keep on gardening. But a lot of new gardeners don't know that yet. They try it, they're not sure if they like it, and they walk away. Well, I can tell you, after three decades of gardening, I like it. And even though there's been times I wanted to walk away, I'm very glad I didn't. A key reason why many new gardeners quit in the first year is because gardening failed to meet their expectations. There are many reasons why people will begin gardening. Some might want to grow food to put on the table. Some might want to commune with nature. Others might just want a space to come out and spend some alone time. But there's always that expectation when we begin a garden. We want it to grow like none other. We want great success. We want wonderful stories to talk about. But for those of us that have been gardening for a while, we know that weather gets in the way. Pests get in the way. Diseases get in the way. Time gets in the way. Those are all factors that can inhibit us and lead to a garden that isn't quite as successful as we had hoped for. So, because we had set expectations that were maybe a little too high, when we fail to meet that, it's easy to walk away. My garden fails to meet my expectations just about every year because gardeners tend to be optimistic and we really are looking forward to a successful garden. This year, I had grand visions for this trellis, this entire bed space. It was going to be filled with tomatoes, and none of that happened. First, I had a devastating hailstorm early in the season, and then as the plants recovered and were starting to grow, and I did get some harvests of some delicious cherry tomatoes, we had a crazy early hard freeze that killed all of the plants. So, Pretty much no success in this garden, but I still enjoyed the process. I still learned. I still went through all the steps to make it happen, and that alone was reason to keep going, even when my expectations weren't met. Another reason many new gardeners quit is just because it's too expensive. The costs associated with gardening became much more than they anticipated. I always suggest starting small with just a single bed to see if you like it. Most people do when they start small, but so many new gardeners start big. And if you have a raised bed like this, well, it takes money to build it. And if you fill it with a good soil, well, that costs money too. And you have to buy your plants. And then there's herbicides and pesticides and fertilizers and all of those other ingredients that we seem to think we need in our garden and the costs just keep mounting. And then, if at the end of the season you just have a few cucumbers, maybe a single pumpkin, a couple tomatoes, it doesn't seem like the cost was worth it. Well, it is. Keep going, keep working, because most of those costs are upfront costs. It's a one-time payment. Once this bed is built, it's good for years with no additional expenditure. I'll start my plants from seed and put them in this bed. Another way to save money to keep the costs low. So, yeah, a lot of upfront cost, but in the future, really doesn't cost much at all. Many new gardeners start without much of a plan at all. They think, how hard can it be? I just put a seed in the ground, water it, and then wait for the harvest. But as we all know, it's much harder than that. It's more than just a seed, water, and hopefully some sun. And so they struggle through, and they always seem to be behind. 
There's always more information. There's always another task. And it becomes much harder than they expected. And they just don't have the satisfaction. Well, that can be dealt with. Have a plan from the beginning. And after having gone through it in your first year, well, you know many of the things that can go wrong. You've learned about your sun. You've learned about your weather. You've learned about the location of your garden, about putting seeds in, about watering, about harvesting. You've learned some basics in that first year that you can build upon. So in the second year, you put together a plan because you have some idea of what it's going to take. And then you learn even more. And then the third year, the plan is better. And eventually you get to the point where you don't even really think much about it. You just plan out your garden, you do it the way it's supposed to be, and then you have great success. Frustration due to that lack of knowledge can be another big reason why new gardeners quit. Because once they jump in, they realize there's a lot they don't know. A lot of the important stuff. So they might watch some Gardener Scott videos, they might follow a blog, buy a few books, and then it becomes even more confusing because there's so much information out there and a lot of it differs. It seems like we gardeners can't agree on much of anything. Well, that frustration carries through the entire season. And then it gets to the end, they realize they might have learned a little bit, but not enough to continue in their mind. Well, it gets back to the idea of just persevere. Go through a winter. Go through a time when you're not physically in your garden and learn. Watch a lot of my videos. Read a lot of books. Talk to other gardeners. Find out a lot of the information that you're lacking. Or find out what you know and then build upon that with the information that is suitable for your own garden. It's all possible. It does take a little bit of time, but again, it's worth it. One of the things that almost caused me to give up gardening about 25 years ago was I realized I was in it by myself. I had started a brand new garden, a big garden, thinking that me and my family were going to work in it. Well, the help from the rest of the family never materialized. So it ended up being just me in a pretty big garden space. And of course, I learned that I didn't know enough to manage a space that big. So I learned. And eventually, I went through the Master Gardener course to learn more. And then I really found out that I loved, with a passion, gardening and teaching gardening. But I could have given it up because it was too hard by myself. And a lot of new gardeners face that as well. They start a garden anticipating that they're going to have help from friends and family. And that help never materializes and they walk away. You can always cut back. If you have a big garden like this and you can't manage it by yourself, well, you don't have to plant every single bed. Just plant a couple beds. Do what you can manage until you gain that skill and gain that knowledge that you can amp up your effort and do more. Many people begin gardening because they want to be out in nature. They want to see what nature can give them. But many new gardeners quit because they've found out just exactly what nature gives them. Nature gives weeds and insect pests and critters that come into your garden and steal your harvest right before you're ready to take it into the kitchen. And so a lot of new gardeners fight the fight with chemicals, with frustrating efforts that never seem to work. And again, it's easy to quit because it just seems like it's going to become an endless battle. Well, depending on how you approach gardening, it might be an endless battle. But I've learned not to fight nature, but to work with nature. So I encourage beneficial insects to take care of the bad ones. I encourage the soil microorganisms that are going to really break down this soil, make it rich and feed my plants. I encourage birds in my garden because they'll take care of a lot of those pests as well. I 
understand my weather. I understand my climate. I understand the limitations that I have within my garden because of nature. Sure, it takes some time, it takes some experience, but I've reached the point where I enjoy nature because I'm not fighting it. And when nature works with me, because I'm working with nature, I'm more likely to have success. And with more success, more enjoyment of gardening. This next reason why many new gardeners quit is completely understandable. With a year like 2020, so many people suddenly had time on their hands and they wanted to try new things and gardening was perfect for spending their time and doing something to keep their hands busy. Well, as 2020 draws to a close, much of life has changed because a lot of that time that people had isn't free time anymore. So what do you do? Do you revert back to the way you did things before when you never seemed to have enough time and quit gardening? Or do you recognize that gardening really can offer you some amazing benefits? If you're feeling stressed, come out to the garden and you'll probably be calmed. If you're feeling frustrated about life, come out to the garden. You'll shift your frustrations and you realize a few bugs really aren't that bad. If things just don't seem to be working for you, the garden can solve so much of what life throws at you. You've got to modify your schedule. You need to make time for gardening. So instead of gardening big like you may have had time for, well, just garden small until you can figure out how you can schedule your time. So you can figure out which gardening tasks are really the only ones that need to be done. And you can save the other stuff for when you have extra time. I get it. You started because you had time, now you don't have time and you want to quit. I say adjust. Make adjustments in your schedule just to keep a little bit of gardening alive in your heart. To keep this basic knowledge in your mind so that you can move forward. And when you get to be an old guy like me and you have much more time on your hands, well, you've had years of experience and years of knowledge to make the whole experience so much easier and so much enjoyable. I hope you stick with it and I hope you learn more. And one way to learn more is to watch one of these Gardener Scott videos next. I'm Gardener Scott. Enjoy gardening. <music>